Hello everyone, welcome back to LS Life channel, where you can learn more interesting info about your favorite actors and athletes. In today's video, we'll be discussing the career and some interesting facts of former professional boxer Sugar Ray Leonard. Ray Charles Leonard, born May 17, 1956, best known as Sugar Ray Leonard, is an American former professional boxer, motivational speaker, and occasional actor. Often regarded as one of the greatest boxers of all time, he competed professionally between 1977 and 1997, winning world titles in five weight classes, the lineal championship in three weight classes, as well as the undisputed welterweight championship. Leonard was part of the Four Kings, a group of boxers who all fought each other throughout the 1980s, consisting of Leonard, Roberto Duran, Thomas Hearns, and Marvin Hagler. Leonard also won a light welterweight gold medal at the 1976 Summer Olympics. Ray first started boxing in 1969, following in the footsteps of his older brother Roger. After a rocky start, Leonard boxed in the Eastern Olympic Trials. Although he only made it to the semi-finals, Ray earned the attention of the Olympic team assistant coach, who called him Sweet as Sugar. By the end of his amateur career, Leonard had won the National Golden Gloves Lightweight Championship and the Light Welterweight Championship. He also made the U.S. Olympic team and won the gold medal as the light welterweight representative of the United States in 1976. Ray finished his amateur career with a record of 165-5 and 75 KOs, and decided to stop fighting to attend the University of Maryland to study business administration and communications. However, his plan changed. Sugar Ray Leonard decided to become a professional boxer after the Olympics in order to support his first child. He then started training with Angelo Dundee, who once trained Muhammad Ali. In 1977, Sugar Ray made his professional debut against Luis the Bull Vega. Another notable fight came in 1978, when Leonard fought Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Jr.'s father. By 1979, he had won the NAF Welterweight Championship. Later in 1979, Leonard won his first world title after beating Wilfred Benitez for the WBC Welterweight Championship. Sugar Ray won a purse of $1 million. In 1980, Leonard knocked out Dave Boy Green to defend his title. He later earned over $9 million for his fight against Roberto Duran, although he lost that battle, quite convincingly. However, Sugar Ray was given a rematch later that year, for which he earned $7 million. Sugar Ray outboxed Duran and taunted him to the point where the Panamanian boxer simply quit out of embarrassment. Sugar Ray continued to defend his title and earned $11 million against Thomas Hearns in a guide which he won. In 1982, Leonard suffered a detached retina and promptly retired. However, he announced a comeback in 1983, despite concerns about his recently repaired eye. After a number of losses, Leonard announced that he was retiring once again. However, Sugar Ray had yet another comeback in 1986, when he fought Marvin Hagler, earning a minimum of $11 million. He won that fight in a controversial split decision. Yet another comeback came in 1988, when Leonard collected a guaranteed payout of at least $10 million for fighting Donnie Lalonde. He won the fight and defended his title against Thomas Hearns, earning a guaranteed amount of $14 million. In 1991, Leonard fought in what he assured fans would be his final match, losing against Terry Norris. Incredibly, Sugar Ray came out of retirement once again five years later, at the age 40, to fight Hector Camacho. Unfortunately, he was knocked out for the first time in his career, and Leonard finally decided to call it quits after that. Leonard was the first boxer to earn more than $100 million in purses, and was named Boxer of the Decade in the 1980s. The Ring magazine named him Fighter of the Year in 1979 and 1981, while the Boxing Writers Association of America, BWAA, 
named him Fighter of the Year in 1976, 1979, and 1981. In 2002, Leonard was voted by the ring as the ninth greatest fighter of the last 80 years, BoxRec ranks him as the 23rd greatest boxer of all time, pound for pound. As of May 2023, Sugar Ray Leonard's net worth is roughly $120 million. Leonard, the fifth of seven children of Cicero and Getha Leonard, was born in Wilmington, North Carolina. He was named after Ray Charles, his mother's favorite singer. The family moved to Washington, D.C. when he was three, and they settled permanently in Palmer Park, Maryland when he was 10. His father worked as a supermarket night manager and his mother was a nurse. He attended Parkdale High School. Leonard was a shy child, and aside from the time he nearly drowned in a creek during a flood in Seat Pleasant, Maryland, his childhood was uneventful. He stayed home a lot, reading comic books and playing with his dog. His mother said, he never did talk too much. We never could tell what he was thinking, but I never had any problems with him. I never had to go to school once because of him. Leonard married his high school sweetheart, Juanita Wilkinson, in January 1980. Their six-year-old son, Ray Jr., who was born when they were teenagers. In 1984, they had another son, Gerald. They were divorced in 1990. In 1989, Leonard was introduced to Bernadette Roby by Kenny G at a Luther Vandross concert. Leonard and Roby were married at Leonard's $8.7 million estate in Pacific Palisades, California, in August 1993. The couple has two children, Daniel and Camille. The retired boxer bought a home in Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles, for around $7 million. The mansion stands on a two-acre land, complete with a guesthouse, tennis court, and a large swimming pool. The interior of the house is a combination of modern and ancient architecture, including a vaulted ceiling, fireplaces imported from Europe, floors made of stones from Jerusalem. Porsche 911 Targa, price of $24,000. Mercedes E-Class, price of $54,000. Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, price of $388,000. Jeep Wrangler, price of $28,000. That's all for today, and we hope you enjoy this video, leave a comment below if you have any recommendation for our channel, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe to support us, thank you for watching.